And uh, by the grace of God, we're able to get together tonight and, and have this time of worship. A lot of people have prayed real hard and worked real hard to see this come together. Scott, thank you for your labors of love among us. And we understand that we might already have the ink on the contract for next year. Thank you so much. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Yes, indeed. Thank you. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Um, I do want to welcome you. And I want to say a personal word of thanks to uh, Larry Adams, Scott Shepard, Kathy Wilson, and so many others who have worked so hard to make this happen. We appreciate each one of them, and we appreciate you for your prayers and your giving. Uh, your support of the association uh, is, is what undergirds this, what makes it possible. This is all to the glory of our Lord and to worship our Lord Jesus Christ. And we want to begin tonight with a word of prayer. Will you join me as we give thanks to the Lord for this opportunity? Thank you, Heavenly Father, that we could be together this evening for this concert, celebrating not, not so much a week of hard work or weeks of hard work on our part, but celebrating the person and work of our Lord Jesus Christ, your love toward us, in that you sent your son who was crucified, dead, and buried and on the third day rose again from the dead that we might have everlasting life. And the desire of our hearts is that if there's anyone here this evening who does not know Jesus Christ as the risen Lord, they will meet him tonight and give their lives to him and receive him as their Lord and Savior and begin a walk with him that will take them into eternity. Grant that this might be a time of worship for all of us, that you'll be first in our thoughts and in our hearts. Your spirit has his way in each of our lives through this evening's worship. For it is through Jesus Christ our Lord we pray. Amen. Amen.
are the people of the risen King. We are children of the living God. That's why we celebrate not only today, but every Lord's Day. We are united in Him, and with one voice we sing. O Lord and God, You are worthy to receive glory and honor and power, because You have created all things, and by Your will they exist and were created.
there is no one like you. There are no works like yours. We bow down before you, Lord, and we will honor your name. For you are great and perform wonders. You alone are God.
Our souls sing with the thought of Him, what He has done for sending His Son to cleanse us from our sins. So when we come together, we must always remember to celebrate Jesus, His birth, His life, His suffering, His journey to the cross, and finally, His empty tomb. And now we wait for that day when He will come again and take us to heaven. And on that day, every knee will bow in heaven and on earth.
God proved His love for us and that while we were still sinners, His Son Jesus died for us. There is nothing that we can do to earn or to even deserve His love. And if we belong to Him, there is nothing we can do that would make Him turn His back on us. For we are saved by grace through faith, and it is not from ourselves. It is God's gift, not from works, so no one can boast.
God's grace is not just giving to us once at salvation, but throughout our lives. He lavishly pours it out upon us day after day. The gift of God's grace and love is immeasurable. It is impossible to fully comprehend what the length, the width, the height, and the depth of God's love. So come, accept His invitation to have all of your sins, past, present, and future, forgiven. Only one that can give you peace, hope, joy, and victory. Amen. God did so love the world. Did you enjoy that tonight? Amen. Just, a, just a few thank yous. When you exit tonight, we'll have four uh, ushers at the doors. 
so that you can take part in helping make sure that we continue this for many more years. Next year will be the 45th anniversary of the Watauga Association Music School. So, I think we'll, we'll, we'll make it even bigger and better, hopefully, if you can just pray COVID out. Just a few thank yous, and I'll get away. Joy Cole, thank you from Doe River Baptist. Great job on narration. We, from the association, we'd like to thank uh, Kathy Wilson, her tireless effort, and Jack Roddy. <laughs> With the three of us, worked so good together and uh, to put this on, and it just comes on really good. John Bunn and Fred Goodwin from First Baptist right here. Yes, yes. David Whaley from Hunter First Baptist on percussion and his cheering section right there. Yes. The orchestra, uh, we've got t uh, one from the junior high school, one from the high school, and the rest of them are former players and are two harpists. Thank you for being with us this year. Yes. Grace Baptist Church for being our host. You do it every year. We thank you. Thank you for your custodial staff. They have sprayed clean, uh, clean door handles to make sure that we were safe. We appreciate you. Yes. Laura Seagrove from uh, Grace Baptist Church, worship leader. Thank you for all your efforts. Thank you, sound people. John Bird on PowerPoint, Larry and um, uh, Josie Groves. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Sandra Heaton's not here tonight, but she helped us with the orchestra uh, by playing piano. And most of all, thank you, choir. Thank you from your respective churches for being here and lifting the Lord up in song and our soloists also. Awesome job. And let's thank Larry, who does a lot of this work. Larry. No, 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 no. I just ask people, and you graciously do what the Lord impresses on your heart, and I appreciate you, and hopefully we'll all be back again next year, and you are dismissed. <laughs>